In this question, you have a square block of glass A, B, C, D as shown here with a light ray incident at this point here with angle of incidence 70 degree. Now you might be wondering, will total internal refraction take place here? And as mentioned before, in order to check whether total internal refraction will take place, you have to look at these two conditions. Now for the first one, maybe you do not know critical angle but you can actually find out because you are given the refractive index. But let's take a look at the second condition. It has to be traveling from a denser towards a less than medium. So therefore, this condition is not met. The light is traveling from a air less dense towards a denser medium. That means to say, total internal refraction cannot occur. It will be bending of light, refraction. That means to say, it will come towards here, bend towards the normal because the speed decreases. Now you might be wondering, how do I know it will hit at the surface BC? Okay, because later on actually they will tell you it will incident on the side BC. Okay, now let's just put the value here that this will be my angle of refraction and this is my angle of incident. And the first part of the question, they ask you to find the angle of refraction. Okay, let's do the first part and you, are, you should be familiar with the formula N equals to sine I over sine R because it's less than to denser. 1.5 is the refractive index and this will be sine 70 div divided by sine r and you can find that r is 38.8 degree so over here is 38.8 and in part b okay you are required to find critical angle and because you're given n you can actually just use the formula n equals to 1 over sine c so the n being 1.5 and sine C, you can find that C is 41.8 degree. The, the critical angle for this piece of glass is 41.8.